Hey guys, we are now just a couple of hours away from Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference 2024 and the first beta for iOS 18. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are extremely excited to get your hands on the first beta. And I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to a lot of the new features. But the reality of the situation is that this is going to be the first beta for a major update. And there's a few things you should know right before you update to the first beta for iOS 18. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first thing everyone should do and this one should be obvious is make sure you back up all your data things like messages and photos especially you want to make sure you back up keep in mind this is going to be the first beta for iOS 18 and we've already heard from reliable sources that it's going to be jam-packed with new features however it's also going to be very very buggy and some data could be corrupted and lost in the process so you want to make sure you back up rather is creating a physical storage using your PC or a Mac or using iCloud. I personally choose a physical backup, so I did that to my Mac, but you can go into iCloud here, go into iCloud settings and make sure you back up all your photos by turning this option on and make sure you back up all your messages by turning this option on right here. And this will back up all your messages and photos to iCloud. Again, I personally choose a physical backup, but you can do either or. Now, one thing you also wanna keep in mind is make sure you have sufficient storage to update. So I wanna say anywhere from 25 to 30 gigs you should be fine. So head on over into general, go into the about section. And right here we have the capacity and how much is available. I have 125 gigs available, so I'm more than ready to update. So keep in mind anywhere from 25 to 30 gigs, make sure you have at least in order to update to iOS 18. And if you don't have enough, you can always go into iPhone storage options right here and make sure you can delete some of the stuff that you're not going to be using in order to create at least 25 to 30 gigs before you decide to update. Now, if you've never tried any betas at all and you wanna give iOS 18 a try, I do not recommend you install this on your primary device. However, I'm sure a lot of you guys will. You always wanna make sure that you sign into Apple's beta software program. It is absolutely free. All you need is to log in with your Apple ID. Let me go ahead and do that now. And once you sign in, it'll bring you here. Make sure you scroll down, select iOS, obviously and make sure you scroll down and enroll your ios device and right here all you have to do it tells you to back up your data once you do that open beta updates it will bring you directly to settings and once ios 18 beta is available you'll see the third option populate or the fourth option at the bottom here populate for ios 18 beta make sure you select ios 18 and you should be ready to go and that about brings it into this video this is just a few things you should know right before you update to ios 18 beta 1 we're just a couple of hours away from wwdc 2024 and the first beta i am extremely excited i will see you guys real soon